Hello, this is going to be the start of my fantasy or romance vlog. So it's February 13th, Saturday. I'm just chilling, but I got some book mail, so I figured I would open it. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So I requested The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. It has finally arrived. I haven't, I don't think I've read a Christina Lauren yet, but I know that they're super popular. And this one is about like a scientist, right? So I was like, this sounds right up my alley. I don't know what it is, but I went on like a rom-com kick the other day. And I think leading into summer, I'm going to be doing more videos on like upcoming rom-coms. And I've requested a bunch of arcs for them. And in just in general, reading rom-coms, like as it gets closer to summer, I think that could be like a really fun thing to do. Especially if I'm going to go see my parents in April or May in Florida. And I'll just bring a bunch of rom-coms and read it on there. Let's see what this is. I don't think this is a book. Okay. So this is like for a little side craft going on. I live near the beach. So I go on walks on the beach all the time. And I notice that there's a bunch of sea glass. And I decided I wanted to start a sea glass collection, so I just got a random like mason jar. So let me get my sea glass collection because right now it's like literally in the coat of my pocket. So growing up, my mom always had like a huge sea glass collection. We would go find pieces on the beach, and like as time has gone on, there really hasn't been as much sea glass on Long Island because they've done a really good job with regulating people not bringing glass into the beach and stuff, which is a good thing because it is like pollution but in massachusetts i don't think they're doing as good of a job as that so there's plenty of sea glass so this is my favorite one that i found so far because it's purple try and focus that yeah it's like this big purpley one it's so beautiful so bigger pieces will naturally go to the bottom big brown one with like a beer bottle and lots of green ones this blue one's really pretty too Focus. Yeah. So here we have it, my beginning sea glass collection. Not too much yet, but I'm really excited to fill it up over time as I go on walks on the beach all the time. I thought I was gonna get, oh wait, this is from my mom. I think this is a Valentine's Day present. If she got me the same thing that... <laughs> um, what the heck? How did she... She got us, like, the same thing that Alex's mom got us. So, like, they must have talked to each other and not realized that they sent the same or very similar gift set. That's too funny other mail so this card came like destroyed i don't know why it was so damaged this is it's a k-pop photo card i mean this is uh, part of my k-pop thing is i collect photo cards and then you trade them with people blah 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 so it's fun and, but it's like really oh yes i've been waiting for this card for so long and then this card looks like a little instagram post Exciting today's mail. So I've been doing like a whole bunch of nothing today up until now. I do need to I do need to finish my other book before I start this book, um, which is my JLA book, which is from my Jeffrey L. Armatrap vlog. Anyways, I made a TikTok today and I that's pretty much all the productive things I've done and I've cleaned. So Serpent and Dub, I just finished this audiobook yesterday. Freaking loved my reread. I thought it just like went so well and I love the character so much. I think it's just such like a good, it's a good solid YA fantasy romance. I just like love the feel of this book too. The third cover was revealed and it's, oh my God, it's gonna look so good on the shelf because it's black, red, and silver. So this is the sequel, Blood and Honey, that I'm planning on starting today. And I'm just obsessed with this series. Oh, we have a map? Cool. So, um, yeah, all I want to do this weekend is just, like, read a lot. And I have some cute plans tomorrow for Valentine's Day. And, like, that's, uh, that's it. But I'm going to be starting this. 
Hello, so it's now Monday and I read a decent chunk of Blood and Honey over the weekend. I'm currently on page 278 and there's about 500 or so pages in this book. So I'm about halfway through really loving it. There's a lot of like strife and tension. You can definitely tell that it's like, well, this relationship was established in the first book. So now they're kind of going through some rough patches and I'm really interested to see where Lou's character is going to go because it seems like she's kind of losing herself to her magic a little bit. And Reed is also just still being a stubborn ass like he usually is. So it's really interesting to see kind of like how the development of these two characters is going to go because this first book had such like a strong concept and it's like how do you follow that up but so far really enjoying it really interested to see more of the blood witches and i just feel like it's going to build towards this like very epic conclusion kind of like the conclusion of the first book was so good and i feel like right now we're in that point where we're just kind of building the tension and the tension and i'm kind of interested to see like how it's going to culminate so yes, that's my update for Blood and Honey. And I do have some book mail and it is a fantasy romance book. So let's open her up. Yay. Okay, so we have Deadly Dreams here, which is the third book in the Fortuna Sworn series, which I absolutely love that series. Um, and I've read the first two books in like this November-ish when I was first like, okay, what other fantasy romance books do I want to read? And like, something about the way that this these like self-published books feel like they feel very nice <laughs> um so like i've been trying out like a bunch of different fantasy romance books and if i like them then i will purchase them when i say trying out i mean reading them digitally because my whole new philosophy is i'm not just buying books willy-nilly like i'm trying to read them other ways via from like the library or on audio or on my kindle and i do have kindle unlimited um and then if I really like connect with them and they're one of my favorites, then I will of course buy a physical. But this is just to prevent me from buying a physical book for literally everything that I read because I feel like that is just going to end up in me unhauling a lot of books later down the line because I'm like, well, I didn't really super connect with this book, so I may read it. However, I'm very connected to the Fortuna, Fortuna Sworn series. I love the cover art, so cool. And this is the thickest one yet. So I'm really interested to see where this is going to go. I'm probably going to feature this on my March TBR. Like I don't think I'll get to in February because I already have a lot of fantasy romances lined up for this month. And that being said, A Court of the Silver Flames is out tomorrow. So I think I'm going to be putting this vlog on hold and then go into Silver Flames mode because, okay, I have like three cop. no, I have two copies on the way and they're both going to the wrong address. So I think I'm just gonna go to the store and the, the reason, okay, so I probably pre-ordered one like forever ago, forgot about it. Then I had a friend who works at Barnes & Noble, so she was able to give me an employee discount and like put in the order for me. But then I moved again, like unexpectedly. So they're going to my old address, which is not that far from where I live now, but like it's the whole process, right? And I want to read that book as soon as possible. So I think I'll just be going to Barnes & Noble tomorrow and getting Silver Flames and then returning the other two copies. Oops. Oops, it happens. The end of the um, Restless Slumber was just like so explosive. I don't know. I just like, look at how pretty it is. Ugh, this cover art is just gorgeous. So I'm just like really in my fantasy romance, like indie published fantasy romance feels and my rom-com feels as well. I've been requesting a lot of rom-com arcs so that I can read the stuff coming up. So that's kind of going to be what I focus on in the next you know upcoming months as far as plans for this vlog so i'm going to try and finish blood and honey tonight so that it's done and then i am going into work the next few days so i I'll, on during my lunch break on my kindle i'll probably be reading what is it ruin of chaos which is the flames of chaos series which i'm really enjoying it's not like a fantasy romance that i love enough that i think i'm going to purchase a physical copy because the way i feel about that series is that it's entertaining as all hell but like the characters frustrate me so much especially the male lead he's like so like alpha dude and the woman lead is also like an alpha female so it's like a very interesting combination and they definitely bash heads a lot but there's some parts where i find the writing is a little sparse so it's like if i go based off my entertainment it'd be like a five star especially because like the smut is really good but if i go based off like other elements of it like my rating would definitely be lower so like i am 
a person that is prone to just like rate a book five stars if I enjoyed it even though I found other flaws but I feel like these other flaws are enough that it is stopping me from rating it a full like five stars so it's also very dark so you, before you go into that series you have to be aware like please 18 plus please read the content warnings and the trigger warnings before you go into that series because it is dark and twisted and I enjoyed a good dark and twisted romance with things that you would enjoy that you would not enjoy in real life it gets totally fine to enjoy those things in in these books like this right but like um just like be aware of what you're getting yourself into before you get into it and that's all that I'm going to say on that and other romances and there are some things that people would be comfortable with in their romances reading that others wouldn't be comfortable with reading and i think that line is kind of different for everyone like i'm talking about fantasy romance i do want to talk about some of the ways that i find new titles that are coming out because i feel like this genre can be kind of hard to find titles in so let's open up there we go so we're gonna log on to goodreads.com show you one of the ways and then the other way that they search okay I get distracted when I go on Goodreads because I see what other people are reading. Okay, so I go to Goodreads. I have this page favorited and this fantasy. Let's add to favorite genre. So this fantasy romance genre page on Goodreads is a good place to start and it does have a mix of YA and like adult so you'll get like a mix. So let's see like this one. I've I have this one coming up. This series I've heard a lot about. So these are like all the new releases that are tagged with fantasy romance and it's just that they're tagged Ooh. and then so this is kind of like how i i like see the ones that are coming out these are the ones that are most read and then they have some lists down here that's this so this is like how i kind of like go through i just like get frustrated because there's so much i want to read and i don't have that much time like i have an another series coming out my fantasy romance books that i want to read Thing, but I like kind of want to read through all the ones that I have on my other list first So I literally just browse these lists and stuff to see the ones that are popular because And like look at the reviews because sometimes with self-published books like You know like it's not vetted by a publisher or anything like that So you, you kind of like rely on what other people have thought to tell you if the book is good or not all right, so then the next place that I look is on Amazon so like I've been looking at a bunch of different ones so like there's a bunch of them that pop up so like let's go to this one I actually just ordered this one because I saw it on Becca in the books had like a showing my fantasy romance shelf tour and I literally saw this cover and I just bought it and I, I usually at least read a summary before I buy but I just bought this one because it's so gorgeous it's vampire romances romantic fantasy so then sometimes I'll go here like I'll look at the genres romantic fantasy and then i'll like go off of there i'll just like sometimes just go off products related to this item and literally just browse and then i also go off the Faro feb instagram lately and i will look at like the authors that are featured on there as well okay so let's look at romantic fantasy so we have of course all of akatar darkest moon that looks interesting <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when i see the thing and it's like warning it deals with dark chop topics and contains graphic sex i'm like okay well that sounds like a book that i want to read <laughs> and then purchase it like if you're looking for a smut like a smutty book usually if it's like super smutty it will say so like have some sort of disclaimer on the amazon page so that's also another not always though but that's another like thing if you're looking for for a smutty smutty guy so now we're on the Faro Feb Instagram and just taking a look at kind of like all the authors that have been featured on there and all the books that they're showing off and I kind of just get some recommendations from there. Oh, I really want to read Scarlet St. Clair's um, A Touch of Darkness as well because that's a Hades and Persephone retelling. So that's uh, where I'm at right now and yeah, so this has been just kind of like how I dig up books especially because it's like interesting because it's not traditional publishing so there's like different methods you have to use to find like what's coming out soon stuff like that and what you want to read what you think will actually appeal to you as a reader and your specific tastes so that's why i try and research more so i can bring it to the internet and what the internet likes so that you all can get more fantasy romance recommendations in your life as well so bye
for now. Hello, so um, I'm just gonna come on this vlog real quick to say I finished Blood and Honey. And I think this book destroyed me emotionally. It went places I didn't think it was gonna go and it did things that literally I had to put this book in the corner, in time out. It hurt my feelings. This ending, I'm just like, okay, oh my God, where are we gonna go from here? I'm upset. I can't believe that happened. I can't believe the author did this to her characters. I feel a little bit betrayed, but nevertheless, I just needed to come out and tell you it was five stars because I loved it, but um, wow. I don't know where the ending is gonna go from here, but it's definitely gonna be explosive. Um, and it definitely still kept like that atmosphere that I loved, and we definitely went through some growing pains with the characters as they're discovering their own abilities and powers. So it's great, I do need to write a review. I need to get better at writing reviews right when I finish them. So maybe I'll do that now, but yes. The other thing I'm doing right now is I'm transferring my annotations over from, um, I have this soft cover copy and I have this hard cover copy because I'm gonna be giving this to my friend Isabella, Third of Pages, because I want her to read the series. Basically I bought these paperbacks and then they released them in hardcover and I said, well, I don't need both. So I'd rather pass this along to someone. So this still obviously has all my annotations in it so i need to put them in here and it actually kind of takes a long time so i'm just like chilling music listening to that and yeah then this vlog is going to be on pause for a little bit while i film my a Court of silver flames specific vlog so pause stay tuned for what i read after a Court of silver flames hello welcome back to my fantasy romance vlog after finishing a Court of silver flames i was like well I needed a palette cleanser, and so I decided to pick up Get A Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert because I decided I needed something really light and fluffy and easy to breeze through, so I started this on Friday, and I'm on page 154. I'm really loving it so far. It's just like so funny and cute, and I just really want to read more rom-coms, and I think I'm going to have like a rom-com series coming up on my channel probably for summertime because that's when I really want to read a lot of these because I still am working my way through all the fantasy romance books that I want to read, but... I digress. Uh, the real reason I wanted to turn on my camera right now is because I have two packages and they're both books. So, let's start. Okay. Yay. The first one is Through the Moon, which is a graphic novel based on the Dragon Prince. And when I saw that the Dragon Prince had a graphic novel, I think it takes place after season three, right? That's the season that just happened. I was like, you know what? I need this because this is one of my freaking favorite shows. My boyfriend might even read it because he loves the Dragon Prince as well. So while I'm waiting for the next season, I had to have this. And it's just, it's actually now that I have it, it's so cute. Look at it. Love it. Okay, and now, here we have more book mail. I forgot what book this was that I ordered. Oh, yes. Okay. So I thought I had ordered this book like a while ago, and then I guess the order never went through, so I ordered it again. And that is Gods and Monsters. Um, and it's a fantasy romance by Janie Marie. And this is purely a cover buy. I saw it on Becca and the Books Fantasy Romance shelf tour. And after I saw this book, I'm like, it is so beautiful. I need it. <laughs> um, I mean, if you just like look at this and all the ones in this series just have this look and this is on the back. So I was like, you know what? I'm a sucker. I don't even know what it's about. Okay, let's see. So it's about a plague and our saviors are monsters. Oh, she's a mother and she fights. And there's David who has a duty to the human race. And Jane is special, a noble, immortal knight. Epic journey to save her family in the world. Interesting. So what will happen when they realize she's the greatest monster of all? Interesting because I feel like a lot of romances don't really feature mothers. So I think that this one will be really cool to read. I'm really enjoying this book. I think I'm going to try and finish this one tonight. What do I want to pick up next? I think that because March is only a week away, I think I need to pick up phoenix flame next because that is an arc that i requested so i do want to get a review out oh i just also want to before i go show off this headband i got it yesterday at forever 21 or no primark it's my new favorite thing it's friday february 26th and you're getting towards the end of february i wanted to give an update on my barrow feb vlog so i kind of went off tbr finished get a life chloe brown five stars which is the cutest sweetest romance loved it a lot 
really touched on what it means to like live with a chronic illness very well. Then I read The Promised Neverland Volume 2. This is a manga that I have been just starting but really, really enjoying. This volume was five stars. It's amazing. And now I'm currently reading Phoenix Fall, Phoenix Flame by Sarah Holland. This is the sequel to Haven Fall, which I read last year and loved. And this is just a really cool world. And I love like it's about this inn that's at the center of these all these realms. And now we are getting to explore one of these realms. So it's just really immersive. And the author just creates a very cool atmosphere. Um, it's pretty short. It's only 243 pages. So I'm at page 100, so I'm hopefully going to try and finish this tonight because I want to get through my last two books on my February TBR. I think I can do it. We'll see. Um, but that's going to be like my plan for this weekend. Then I, in the mail, I got a finished copy of The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai. I'm so excited about this one. It looks so cute. It's a romance. I think this actually might be the second in a series, but like one of those standalone series, so I'll probably have to and reread the first one. So it says, even with the step-by-step -step plan, these fake fiancés might accidentally fall for each other in this hilarious, heartfelt romantic comedy. I have two packages, one that I know what it is and one that I do not. So let's see. It's a very weird package, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a fantasy romance that I pre-ordered. So it is out on Tuesday, but I got my copy early. And it's Music of the Night by Angela J. Ford. Look at that, but what is even better? Is it under? <gasps> I am floored. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. Like this dust jacket. But then also the naked book. And it's a fantasy uh, romance retelling of any of the opera, which is everything to me. So obviously I had to have this once I saw that it was coming out. And so that is to add to my growing fantasy romance collection. And now here is a mystery package that I don't know what is inside. So, oh, okay. And this is an arc that I requested and I hadn't heard from the company, but they have sent it to me. And this is To Love and To Loathe by Martha Waters. And this is on sale um, March, no, April 6th. And this is a Marriage bet turns complicated between Regency era friends with benefits and an idyllic countryside house party. Beautiful. Okay, so that's my update for now because I do have to get running to a work meeting. So it is the middle of the day for me. So yeah, my plan is hopefully tonight I can finish Phoenix Flame and then I would want to start Queen of Empire. And then my last book of the month will hopefully be Bridge Kingdom. So that's all for now. See you in the next clip. So it's Sunday, February 28th, the last day in February. And so I'm finishing up my Pharaoh Feb vlog. And the last book I'm reading for Pharaoh Feb is Queen of Empire. And this setup is really cool so far because you can have mind, body, spirit, and then you have like abilities associated with either one of those. But like it's not like the only abilities that you have like i think you have like different strengths in each and the one you're strongest in is like the category you are and there's these ruling descendants and i guess they're more powerful we have anita who's like the strongest body ever so she like has won all these like physical challenges and stuff like that and the descendants just came to town because the people that ruled just died hello i have a little buddy he wants to come and read Remember Kev? You want to read with me? He just had a bath because he rolled around in mud. So anyways, so they have like these different energy level readings and so like the energy of the people determines like events and they have like this observatory that Anita and her friends work in that like measures the energy levels of the world. So I'm really liking the premise and I'm really liking the plot. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill, enjoy my Sunday. I'm definitely not, I was gonna like, be like, yeah, I'm gonna read Queen of Empire and Bridge Kingdom this weekend. No, but I am gonna try and hopefully finish this today to like make a good chunk of progress today. And then maybe I'll start March off with Bridge Kingdom. So it's Monday, February, no, it's March, it's March, it's March 8th. Um, it's March 8th, so time has passed, um, and I finished this vlog like a week ago, and then I took a week off from vlogging, but I'm actually just, um, editing right now to go up tomorrow, and I realized I never finished, like, did a closeout clip, so that's what this is now. And I do want to say I finished 
this book um, last week and I did enjoy it. It's a good fantasy romance. It's definitely a good starter fantasy romance if you're someone that's not looking for a lot of steam because it was definitely like why why I leveled with the steam. It wasn't super smutty or anything like that, but it definitely was a fantasy that focused on the romance and I thought it did a love triangle really well. Like it's probably one of the most natural feeling love triangles that I have read about, so definitely check this out and of course big shout out to hr Moore for you know organizing the whole pharaoh feb event because it was a lot of fun that i won the giveaway for pharaoh feb so i like never win anything so this is very surprising to me and so i got some books in the mail in this cool wrapping paper this has somehow just become a vlog with a lot of book mail these are some werewolf fantasy romance books i think so it's by Maria Vale and it's The Last Wolf, A Wolf Apart, Forever Wolf, and Season of the Wolf. So that's cool. I have not read like a lot of um, wolf romances. So yeah, it's just been like a joy to participate in Farofeb and I'm definitely going to continue with my fantasy romance reading. Um, I do want to also mention one else in my reading. I'm in the middle of the Concrete Rose audiobook, but I haven't had time to go for walks lately, so I kind of have been reading it a lot. I'm 20% of the way through. Really enjoying that so far. Um, I mean, Eddie Thomas is just amazing. And then this past weekend, I like binged a romance series. I binged The Initiation by Nikki Sloan. I read the first one, and it's dark and insane and addicting and definitely like fucked up. But then I was like, I'm gonna read all of these. So I'm now on the fourth one, which is like a spinoff following one of the side characters. It was like almost kind of a main character. And like, he was kind of like bad in the first three books, but now it's his redemption arc. So I'm really interested to see how that's gonna go. I'm about 20% of the way through. All those books are really short, so it's easy to fly through. I also wanna mention that I'm still reading Ruins of Chaos. I basically did not touch it all in February. And I'm like, okay, I actually like do want to finish that book because I was enjoying it. I think I just stopped reading it because like my sleep schedule changed and I wasn't reading in bed like before I went to sleep. So I'm gonna make it a priority to read that book because it is just like a lot of fun. It's a really fun fantasy romance. And that's like kind of all I want to say for right now. And so thank you for watching this vlog and have some fun. Read some books. I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>